birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Nicolise. Happy birthday to you. Stay tuned for Air Gun Detectives. <laughs>
So let's go out and test it. I'm going to show you guys the performance, and then we'll come back and chat about it just for a little bit. All right, so stay tuned for the next segment. All right, let's test out our EV22 over the chronograph, see what type of velocity we get. Now, I'm going to tell you guys, this is not the best CO2 weather. It's in the mid-50s right now, so it's a little cool for CO2s, but we'll see uh, how this performs. We're just going to use these RWS Hobby pellets. These actually did really well. These are close to a 12-grain pellet. So we're going to shoot uh, five shots. We'll average it out of the crony. We'll just see how well we do. All right. This is such a compact little pistol. It really is. Short little barrel. But let's see how we do. All right. Shot number one. 446. Shot number two. 453. Okay, shot number three. 464. <laughs> it keeps creeping up. Okay, this is shot number four. 459. And. One more. 459 again. Wow. This this does pack a punch. I'm telling you, there's a lot of velocity that comes out with this thing. If you think about it, shooting a 12 grain pellet. I mean, look at the foot pounds of energy on that as well. All right, let's uh, move on to the next segment. All right, let's do a little accuracy test with our Benjamin here. I threw a red dot on here. Uh, Terry at Buck Rail. He makes a great accessory for this if you want to put optics on this or any of these style um, Benjamin type pistols. These work great on there, but uh, very inexpensive. I'll leave you guys a link below. You can just uh, hook those up, put your red dot on, you're ready to go. Anyway, we're going to just take five shots here. We're going to see how well this groups. We're going to use a Meister Kuglin 14 grain pellet. As again, we're going to shoot five shots. Don't worry about if it hits the bullseye. We just want to see how it groups here. We're going to be using our splatter burst targets. These are our 8 inch. They really show the impact points really well. But once again, we're shooting, uh, we're shooting at our uh, regular CO2 pistol distance, which is 10 meters, which is roughly 12 yards. Go ahead and check that out real quick. And you guys can see what we're shooting at. Okay, so let's just take five shots and uh, see how we make out here. I'm cheating a little bit because I do have the red dot on here. All right. Shot number one. Okay. Not bad. I'll take that. Shot number two. Okay. It's not doing too bad for what's such a short little barrel. Shot number three. Shot number four. And one more. Do you shot number five yeah that's uh, that's not too shabby of a group actually um, for this short barrel and that's that's probably one of the better groups that I did with this actually but uh, not too shabby all right let's move on to the next segment test the uh, pull weight on our EB 22 here I did adjust the trigger a little bit there's really not a much actual adjustment on it there's really no screw or anything I just stretched the spring a little bit just to kind of lighten the trigger but um, anyway let's uh, let's just give it a pull and uh, see where we're at we got our trusty Lyman trigger gauge here let's reset that let's see where we're at okay two pounds three ounces two pounds three ounces yeah it's a pretty nice trigger it really is yeah, I really don't have any complaints about it whatsoever. But uh, two pounds, three ounces, we'll take that every day of the week. All right, let's move on to the next segment. All right, let's do some plinking with our EB-22 here. Uh, what we're going to do for the plinking, 
We're just going to use some hobby pellets. We use the Meister Krugens with the accuracy. These are just some uh, hobby pellets that we're going to use for plinking. They actually work out pretty good here. Um, we're your usual distance. We're at the same uh, 10 meters, 12 yards roughly. We did the accuracy chest. Go ahead and check out our target there. You can see what we've got. We've got five things set up there. A little plastic bottle, a ram, um, a little pellet can, a couple other little objects there. So we're going to try to knock those down. So let's take care of business here. I'm going to start on the left side with that little plastic um, bottle and then work our way to the right side. So let's just see how well we do here. Nice. The power of this thing just amazes me. It really does. All right, now the little ram. Whoa! Stop, stop, stop. Now, got a two for one on that. We lost our pellet can on that one. That's okay. That's all right. Let's get our little pig now. All right. Hey, we almost lost our pipe, but it's sideways. Let's see if we can get that sitting on its side there. All right. Definitely got that. Yeah, this thing, this thing is accurate and it's powerful. And I'm still going to talk about how compact it is. Pretty amazing gun. All right, let's move on to the next segment. Okay, let's wrap this up with our conclusion here. How did our EB-22 do? Excellent, excellent, just as I anticipated. Yeah, I got a little chilly here. I had to throw on a little hoodie here. Yeah, my air gun detective hoodie. Anyway, all right, let's, uh, let's chat about this a little bit. What are the negatives on this gun? They don't make it anymore, simple. That's, that's it, they don't make it. In fact, they quit production on these in the uh, early to mid 90s. And then uh, occasionally there was a few that were floating around. And now they're really, really difficult to find. You can locate them occasionally, though. Um, and that's kind of why I like to share these videos with you. Because if you do see one of these out here, the potential is great. And then don't forget, you do find one. Uh, again, I'm going to tell you, Henry Ford's got the seal kits for these. Or he can actually rebuild these, and I'm going to leave you guys a link. Yeah, and you've noticed the plinking session. I decided to go open sights with that. But Terry, our buddy at Buckrell, does make the mounts for these, as I showed you during the accuracy test, or if you want to put a red dot on this uh, uh, pistol or any type of the optics, he does make mounts for those. He's got lots of these accessories. So check that out at Buckrail. I'll leave you guys a link down below. But anyway, I've had this pistol for years, and uh, I don't have a whole lot of shots to it. I maybe, maybe two, three hundred shots at the most, but... It's really, really an awesome, simple, simple design. Made in America, all made of brass, so it's all metal, and then real hardwood grips, so you got to like it. Um, I did on this one, I did polish the bolt to kind of smooth this out because it kind of hung up just a little bit. So I polished the bolt. I actually took a little tension off the spring for the trigger, so I lightened the trigger a bit. Just did my custom stuff to it. But uh, again, what do I like about this? I like the compact design. I like the power. Uh, you saw on the box they claim 430 feet per second, where well, we're getting over that 450 mark, and we're getting about five and a half foot pounds of energy. So you could actually do some pest control with this. I like the accuracy. You saw we're getting right around a three quarter inch group at our, our 10 meters, which is good. Um, again, the uh, brass rifled barrel. That's a nice touch, and I like the fact that the uh, the gun is made in the USA. So I definitely uh, like that. So again, I'm going to tell you guys, this Rare and Unusual series, um, this is just an opportunity for you guys to look at maybe some stuff that's no longer manufactured or produced. It's not to tease you. I know some of you get upset. You say, you show us these videos and then you can't go buy it. Well, this channel is not just about going out and purchasing air guns. It's kind of giving you the whole variety. In other words, I'm going to give you a little history here. I'm going to show you stuff that's no longer manufactured, just so you can see some of this you know, some of this stuff, how it was available. I mean, this stuff was available obviously when I was younger. And then, in fact, I've got something coming up huge for you guys. So I'm going to tell you right now, start saving your pennies. 
start saving your pennies because I got something coming and I'm hoping to release it probably right around summertime, maybe just before. And uh, I'm doing some special, special, if you guys like CO2 pistols, these are going to be one of a kind, extremely rare, but they're going to be probably one of the best CO2 pistols you've ever seen. And I'm going to actually put some of these together and sell them on my website. So save your ducats. That's all I'm telling you. I'm not going to tell you what type they are or anything else because it's going to be a total surprise. And this is something that's taking me hours and hours. I'm talking hundreds of hours. And each gun, by the time I'm done with it, they'll probably have 15 to 20 hours in. Yes, I'm not even exaggerating. But it's a fun project. Anyway, that's just a teaser for you. So again, I really appreciate you guys tuning in. Don't forget, this is where we take the mystery out of the air gun. So until next time, that's a five-star gun, by the way. Until next time, I hope you and your families are getting lots of shooting in, and you guys are healthy, and just enjoying your 2024 year. Let's hope this will be even a better year than last year. All right, until next time, take care and God bless.